I'm talking to Peter about Constantine returning to CW on the seed. Congratulations. Ooh, thank you. Did you get to watch the footage? No. Oh, bummer. But you'll see it. You got to go to CW Seed. I do go on CW okay. Seed. And I have a rumor that you also worked on the other superhero animated I show. I did, yeah. Vixen and Freedom Fighters and the Ray, yeah. First of all, I love the Ray. It was so exciting. Oh, I'm, I'm falling out of frame. Sorry. <laughs> it was so exciting uh, to see it, the first mm-hmm. gay superhero mm-hmm. animated show. So. That's right. That's right. It took a long that? time. I don't really? know why, but it did. <laughs> Whatever. How was it? Um, bring, how is it bringing the three shows to the CW? And will there be any cross animated superhero sh- Between episodes? Between the three shows? Yeah, because they're all in different universes. It looks like. Well, not real. I mean, sort of. I don't know. Actually, certainly Constantine is, mm-hmm. but I think Vixen and the Ray, because the Ray now in the end of our series, kind of co- like he goes back to the Earth mm-hmm. X universe, so he can kind of come back and forth. So mm-hmm. maybe at some point with Vixen, yeah, who knows. You know. So does that mean that they all have gotten return seasons? Oh, uh, I don't know. That's not my call. Yes, if it was up to me, but it's not my call. But we've had a great time because we get to flex different muscles mm-hmm. doing this kind of content for CWC, which is great. It's a little more adult. The themes are a little more adult, which is mm-hmm. important. And we get to take more chances and see these characters in a different way, which is great. And we try to, working with CW and working with DC is push the representation a little further and have characters that maybe aren't represented as much Mm -hmm. as they should be and that's been a big kind of mandate for us so like vixen and the ray you know constantine ish but more (laughs) vixen and the ray (laughs) i love both of those i'm going to be watching the cwc to see constantine and i have interviewed constantine cast not only for their nbc show at san diego comic-con but also Mm -hmm. i've spoken to him Mm -hmm. for some of the dc nation movies that he's done oh yeah yeah. did you take any of those aspects and help to create and craft the character did you more base it off of the graphic novel comic books it's both really i mean we had done justice league dark Mm -hmm. as a animated film so we kind of started there Mm -hmm. with the character design and with the kind of tone and the voicing and matt had kind of cracked it already Mm -hmm. in animation because a lot of times you can take live action actresses or actors and bring them into the vo booth and have a lot of hope and it goes it falls (laughs) flat but matt was great because you got to project a little more, you have to be a little more animated in your performance okay. in order for it to translate into drawings. Mm-hmm. You don't have this subtlety of live action acting, so the performance has to be a little bigger. Mm-hmm. And Matt got it right away. I think it's because he's a stage actor, mm-hmm. I think. I think is why he got it. So um, it was more that. It's more the stuff we had done previously and the graphic novels. Mm-hmm. He said that when he's working, he's working by himself, so you never have a uh, voice acting reading where all the cast are in one room. Do you guys just do it separately? Sometimes we do that. Um, Technically, it's challenging Mm -hmm. because if you have three characters are talking over each other, one person has that pops a P or Mm -hmm. forgets a line, then everybody goes down. You can't use the performance. Okay. So a lot of times for really emotional scenes mm-hmm. or if the actors or actresses really want to do that, then we do it. But, mm-hmm. you know, animation was never really done like that. You get a more naturalistic performance if everybody's in the booth together. But um, typically it's a little easier on the production side if everything is split. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. And then the other question I have is, CW is partially owned by Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. Did they say to you, we really want to have a Constantine animated show because we're hoping to turn it into something more? He's such a popular character. I mean, I love to follow Constantine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, there was no kind of corporate mandate or anything. Mm -hmm. You know, Um, we love the character. CW loves the character. They are big fans. We're all big fans of the NBC show. Mm -hmm. It's always been a popular character for DC, so mm-hmm. it just kind of made sense. And then I think Matt had done one guest shot on Arrow by mm-hmm. that point, but it wasn't, we didn't know that he was going to be showing up on Legends. We didn't okay. know. Yeah, so it was just kind of like, but it makes sense because the character is so popular mm-hmm. that it would happen like that, you know. And Matt, I mean, he embodies the character so much. It was great, you know. Mm-hmm. It was easy for the directors and the board artists and everybody mm-hmm. to kind of animate their performance because it's so dead on. It's pretty amazing. I'm excited to see it. And I've noticed with the two shows I have been able to watch, which is mm-hmm. Vitson and then uh, Adam, mm-hmm. the animation looks a little bit different. Mm-hmm. 
but it has an overall design, like the way the lines look. Mm -hmm. Are you keeping in that with his new Constantine, yes. or are you doing a little bit of a department? No, no it looks like it's part of the same universe. Okay. They all could like meet each other, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't all look different, mm -hmm. you know, in their rendering, in their ex execution. So that was conscious, yeah. So with Constantine, did you bring any of the actors from the uh, NBC show, or just the characters at least? Because you know his best friend. Yeah, and everything. yeah, yeah. No, it's different casting. Um, Matt is the only, you know, kind of, you know, he's Constantine, so we kind of <laughs> had to use him. So. <laughs> now, who's the big bad in this Constantine series? It's Nurgle, the demon. He's kind of his biggest kind of antagonist mm -hmm. and has caused the most damage to him throughout his career, essentially. So we, we went back to the kind of the OG <laughs> demon, really, for Constantine. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, can you tell me some of the other actors that will be on the show? The actors? Uh, voice actors that oh, are on the actors. series. Yeah. Um, boy, I think... I don't think I'm going to get their names wrong if I try and do it. So, what about uh, their character names? Well, there's Nurgle. There's uh, what's who's the um, demon oh, in the house in L.A. Oh, Barul. Barul, yes, <laughs> yeah, which is great. Um, and then there's Nightmare Nurse, which I think J.M. had a hand in actually creating. And then Chaz and his wife and the daughter. So it's kind of you know. It's embracing parts of the universe that are in continuity, but then opening it up a little more as well. And then there's a Mesoamerican kind of demon, which I am not going to even try to pronounce <laughs> the name because it's like, like we were just talking about, there's like 30 consonants in a row. Oh, wow. So I couldn't even try. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. so exciting. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. I cannot wait to watch it. Yeah. Home this weekend. Watch it, yeah. Constantine. Turn, put on a candle, turn out the lights. It's freaky. I think I'll enjoy it with some rosé. Sounds good. All right. That sounds good for you. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking All with right. me. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Make sure you watch CW Seed for their animated shows.